Your background is not in toys, but you were quoted as saying there's a huge advantage for a leader to come into a situation with a new set of eyes and challenge the, sat the status quo. So how are you challenging the status quo? Well, Toys R Us is a 65-year-old company. It's a great brand. It's an iconic brand, but clearly over the last few years, it's been struggling to grow, particularly in the U.S. market. And my comment was really centered around the notion that you can come in and really challenge the status quo. You can ask a lot of questions, some of them fairly simple and fundamental, about why are we doing it this way and have we tried to do it that way, and bring some of my experience from other industries and other organizations that I've run uh, in, in such a way that we can challenge ourselves to change. Because we clearly are an organization that needs to continue to change and adapt to the the new marketplace. So you mentioned a rocky couple years. The company lost a billion dollars in 2013, had several couple years of declining sales. Uh, there was a turnaround plan already in place and then you came in. So are you altering that specific plan in any way? I'm really a follow-on to that plan. That plan was called Fit for Growth, which was really the internal message that said the first thing we have to do before we can really commit to growth is to become more right-sized, really challenge ourselves to look at expenses, and, and right-size the business in terms of our operating costs versus the realities of the revenues that we were generating. A uh, big portion of that work has been done and done very, very well. And now uh, I look forward to the next generation of that entire initiative, and that is the growth part. We really need now that we're in a much better position to take the resources that we're generating, invest them wisely, and, and get the growth engine started, particularly in the U.S. market.